go. Here we go. In three, two, one. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, RJB. Welcome back to another episode of The Yellow Fellows. I'm one of your hosts, RJ. I'm here with my best friend, Chow. It's me again. I'm back. <laughs> it's Chow's back. Chow's back. All right, right off the bat, I want to get into Drake getting booed off stage at Camp Flogna. That's yes. a big topic right now. So uh, Camp Flogna is something that's ran by Tyler, the creator. It's his festival. And um, Drake, Drake uh, was the surprise guest at the festival. Yes. Yeah. Surprise just, guest headliner. Yes. Yeah, right. Surprise guest headliner. Correct. Um, on like the lineup, it had like question marks. You saw that, right? So yeah, when they released, I, when I remember, yeah, yeah. So when they released the uh, the lineup, it had three question marks or whatever, something like that. I know it had question marks, and people were assuming that it was gonna be Frank Ocean. So yes. people, this whole time since the lineup got dropped, people were like, "It's gonna be Frank Ocean." Yeah, that's basically what I saw on Twitter too. Yeah, no, well, it wasn't. <laughs> it was not Frank Ocean, and it's Drake. Nothing wrong with Drake. Like um, Drake's just yeah. as big to them. Obviously, it's a big deal. Exactly, it wasn't Frank Ocean. But like when he initially came out, people were pissed. People were already starting to boo. Yes. Like they're booing him because like if you think about it, that's not his type of crowd. I mean, there's some of his music that is. Yeah, no well, yeah. But that type of crowd is is specifically Tyler the Creator fans. Yeah. Tyler the Creator and Drake, two different like types of those are just two different types of music. Not even close. And uh, he he asked the crowd. You saw the video on Twitter, like the video where he asked the crowd, like he's like, uh, "If you he's guys like, want to keep going, keep, okay, yeah, that one." That's then, the only video I saw. Yeah, that, honestly, that's the only video I saw too. Um, and then people were like booing him. Someone was like, "No." So then he was just like, "All right, it's all love. I'm out." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically. So he ended his show 20 minutes early. But honestly, it's like, <sighs> yeah, Frank Ocean would have been sick. Like yeah. we didn't go. Frank Ocean would have been tight. Like to see Frank Ocean perform, would be really sick. He hasn't performed anywhere though. It's just it to Drake, not to Drake. I don't know. It's not fair because there was no indication that Frank Ocean was gonna be there at all. Zero. There was zero. Like there was no hints. Nothing. It was just people thinking that Frank Ocean was gonna be there, and Drake ended up showing up yeah. there. <laughs> and then they got mad. They were pissed. even though there was no Frank Ocean. So there's really no reason to boo Drake. When he went to the concert. I know. It's it's that. all Tyler's taste of music. Like, this festival is designed. He loves Drake. He loves Drake. Yeah. Uh, he, this festival is designed by his taste of music. And he puts together this lineup according, accordingly to what he likes. Yes. And, like, <laughs> I feel bad for him. But, like, honestly, shouldn't feel bad for him. The dude's just, it, this, this festival doesn't mean anything to him. But I wonder how he felt. Like, this dude's, like, one of the biggest, like, hip-hop stars ever. Yeah. Drake is super well known. Like everyone knows who Drake is, and I don't think I don't think Drake's too hurt. No, I don't think, I don't think Drake's hurt too hurt. It. I think he he was shook in the moment, yeah. But after he says, I'd be shocked. Just thinking, bro, imagine, imagine. <laughs> I don't think he's ever. I don't think for the past ten years he would ever think that he would he would get booed off stage ever. Yeah, and it's kind of, honestly though it's it's Tyler's. Tyler didn't know. That they were obviously going to boo. Like, he, he probably... Do you think he was pretty nervous, like, leading up to the, the festival, thinking, like, all these people were thinking it's Frank Ocean, but it's really not? No. I think he would have just... I think he just thought I, it was just going to be I fine. Would, I would think Drake is better than Frank Ocean. Not yeah. rap, but I'm saying just... I'd rather see Drake. Head, Headliner-wise, Drake, Drake is better than Frank Ocean, just yeah, for namesake. I agree. Nothing against Frank, obviously. Yeah. Frank's tight. Just for namesake, you probably got the biggest rap artist out there and they brought him and then he gets booed off so yeah i mean tyler that's you could also make the case it's like that's kind of tyler's fault because drake is not like i said earlier it's not his type of crowd like yeah. those people are way different like there's no drake, way i don't think you if you guys anticipate that happening yeah, though it's so. i mean if you guys don't know if you guys don't listen to tyler the creator's uh music it's a little different right i mean i'm not well, yeah. too much i don't listen to it like I don't ever too much either, but like I know I, it sounds different. It's like his style. So. Yeah, and then he wears that wig. Yeah, I his, don't know. I don't understand the wig. I think it's, it's someone just, told me that it's like his alter ego. I think it's just a persona he's putting on. I guess alter ego. You can use alter ego too. Yeah, alter just, ego. 
just a way to promote the music. Yeah. So That's he wears it. a wig. That's for his Igor album. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, that's all. I, I mean, I just thought it was pretty crazy to see Drake getting booed off stage. Yeah. So did the rest of the world. Yeah. For that day, I was just, wow. But then now it just, Drake's, it is, yeah. it's fine. It's yeah, not did that you big see, a video for Did Drake. you see his Instagram post? Drake's? Yeah. He was like, he said something um, like plot twist or something like that, uh, that he signed like a 10-year deal with Camp Vlog. Now, and he's like, you guys are going to see me till you're 30 on his Instagram. Yeah, he posted that on his Instagram. But, um, yeah, that's all I have to say, really, about Camp Fognon. There's not much to say about yeah, it. Yeah, I just wanted just to bring it up. Drake got booed. Would you ever go to Camp Fognon? Where is it held? I don't know. L.A.? I would have to see the lineup of Yeah, It's so. not really my type of music. Well, I mean, Juice Roll was there. That was pretty cool. Juice Roll was there. 21 Savage was there. YG was there. I didn't see the lineup. Um, but yeah, it was whatever. I mean, why not? I'll probably end up going. Oh, one if time I wanted, in my life, yeah. yeah. I guess just for the hell of it, but yeah, but, hey, Coachella. N- yeah, yeah. Co- I would <laughs> rather go to Coachella than that. Yeah. Speaking of events, you just went to an event yourself this last weekend. Yes, right? I did. This last weekend, where'd yes. you go? Went to Oakland to go see Cash Cash and Rehab. They're obviously EDM. Correct. Yeah. So it was just in Oakland, just an event. Wait, it was on Friday last week. Yeah, Friday last week, and. It was only a day trip. Oh, you wait, you went there and back, or no, you came back the next oh, morning? Oh, no, and not day trip. It was only like a two day thing. It was we like got, a we got for our vendor. Basically, yeah. Got there we Friday. We love those. <laughs> got there Friday, took off Saturday. Yeah, we love those 24 hour vendors, dude. Yeah. Literally, was, those are like some of the. Th- yeah, after when you get home, you feel like, like, damn. Like, that was, that was crazy. Like, you yeah. go there. You do this whole, you do all this stuff within like 24 hours and it's just nonstop. And then once you get home, you like look back and you're like, wow, I'm tired. You're tired. I'm you tired. are tired. And then you're I like, I can't believe I just did that. I was tired. But the event was cool. It was cool. Yeah. I, A lot of people. Uh, supposedly it was sold out, but I wasn't that many people. Yeah. I saw you were in the front row. Yeah. Front How'd row. you get there? How, how early did you show up? Not that early. The event started at eight. And then we got there at seven fifty. But then they weren't on first. There was an opening act. Oh. So it, was it like a like a one day festival you went to, or was it like their event? That's their event. It was their it's show. Fest- yeah, that's pretty dope. Uh, the next show I'm going to is pretty much Coachella. I have nothing. I have nothing to look forward to. Um, I, April, I guess first week of April. April Coachella, and that's that's the next thing I'm going to. It's kind of sad. We were thinking about going to Countdown. Well, that's for New Year's EDM festival, but I'm going to New York to watch the ball drop. So that's gonna be pretty cool. That's I would say that's better. Don't yeah, no. yeah it's a lot I ain't better. Trip, but yeah, that's I love I love me a festival. Love me some festivals. Bro. Countdown. I'm not quite sure about countdown. Is the lineup but dropped? The lineup uh, has, has the lineup dropped. Yeah, the lineup's dropped. Is it cool? I mean, it's all right. It's not the best. Obviously, it's not the best. But there's some good good DJs on there. Yeah, not too bad. Who's the best? Uh, who's the Biggest one that I would know. Biggest one? I mean... Obviously, no Martin Garrix. Obviously not. Uh, Probably the biggest one on this. Probably, obviously, Alesso. Alesso's on there. Alesso's going? Griffin's on there. Oh, um, or Gal- Galantis is going, too. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh. Galantis is going, and then... I can... I need to see Galantis. Who else? I want to run away. Uh, Sign I would have up. to look at it. I think Oliver Heldens is going to. Don't know who that is. Mm, that's all I can name on the top of my head so far. There's a few others, but that sound doesn't sound too bad. How do you know the ticket prices? It's not. It shouldn't be that much. Probably a, maybe like a hundred and thirty dollars. Oh, it's only one day. Oh, it's, it's only, only it's for only New Year's. Yeah, it's only for oh. New Year's Eve. I'm. Yeah, I'm dumb. Yeah, New Year's Eve. It's only on New Year's Eve. That's it. Who's the headliner? Is it Alesso? There's no. I don't know. They don't have a specific headliner. Just a whole bunch of DJs. So. Oh, it's just a big old party for New Year's. Basically, yeah. Ah, uh, that sounds pretty chill. One day we'll go. One year. Yeah, yeah. when the we'll lineup's better. Should have gone last year. Last year's countdown was their lineup was pretty good. Better than this year's. We gotta see Martin Garrix. I, I mean, you're gonna see him in, at Ultra. Like yeah. I count on like you're the one that put me on EDM. 
and like you're the one that put me on Martin Garrix. So I feel like I have to. My first time seeing Martin Garrix, I have to see it with you. But it's yeah. like that just goes. It's like two and two. It goes together because it's, like yeah. it's not like I'm just gonna go to an EDM festival by myself. Yeah. It's not how it works. Like the only person around me that likes EDM is Chow, and Chow has like all his family members that like EDM. I'm the only one. So like everything I do EDM is with done with Chow. Well, I feel like everyone has a little bit of EDM in them. Well, like, yeah, but no like one's, radio. No one's not diehard. No one actually knows the music like I do. Yeah. So I, but everyone likes everyone likes yeah, it. Everyone I likes bet it. if I took a rand like a random person to Martin Garrix, they would love it still. Oh yeah, it's yeah. A great, yeah. feel good. <laughs> it's oh, it's amazing. It's different. Yeah, all it's the videos different. we see on like YouTube, yeah. of, like their sets. Oh, dude. Even yeah, it's even for Zed too. Yeah. I can take a random person to Zed. I bet they'll still enjoy oh, it. Oh, they'll have the greatest time. Yeah, they'll know every damn song. Okay, yeah, eighty percent of the songs. Yeah, surprisingly, like yeah. they don't know, but it's in the back of their head. They'll mm-hmm. know it. So, or they do the one where like they've heard it. And you're like kind of singing along. You're acting like you're singing along because like you do know the song. You've heard of the song, but yeah. everyone knows the lyrics around you and you just kind of want to fit in. Just go along I've done that it. a couple of times. <laughs> you just go along with it. It's fine. Um, but moving on events, I guess we want to stick with this topic. KSI versus Logan Paul 2. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I can't believe we're talking about this, but you know what? I'm not going to lie. I'm a Logan Paul fan. I, I truly enjoy Logan Paul. Logan Paul is tight to me. Okay. Because this dude he i don't care if you guys hate me or what you guys want to think about me because you know what why can't I, why can't we like someone why can't i like someone and someone why why do i have to like someone and someone has a problem with it but honestly don't care what you guys think about that but um the fight was this last saturday at the staples yeah. center yeah in the staples I, I knew a few people that from here that went really a few who i think uh uh, He's like, just I, I just kidding. Just, just kidding. I just saw their story. I saw their. I saw their stories. Dude, so honestly, that would be sick to go to. I know somebody. I can't think of the top of my head. I don't know. I know a couple of people that were were uh, they hit like we were in this group chat and they hit us up. They're like, "Who wants to go?" But um, I had to work, so oh, we had the Topanga Ridge tailgate. Oh Saturday. yeah, Saturday. So I'll I'll get into that. That was pretty cool. But uh, sticking with Logan Paul and KSI, the fight KSI won. If you guys don't know, I'm pretty sure most of you guys do know, he won by a split decision. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty, um, God, I hope Max is in the background right now playing Call of Duty and he's opening a bag of chips and it's really distracting me and he yells at the TV. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but I hope you guys can't hear him. Gamer alert. Yeah, gamer. Um, gamer. But the fight, like, do they, they, it, there's so much tension leading up to the fight because, like, dude, it's been known for, like, two months now. Or at least I've known for two months because, like, I watch Logan Paul's, like, podcast. It's mm-hmm. great. It's an amazing podcast. It's so funny. But they talked about it for, like, the last two months. So, like, I've known, but there's been so much, like, stuff leading up to the fight. And then Saturday comes, and, like, now it's all over. It's like, whoa. It's kind of crazy. But um, during, like, the post-fight interview, like, in the ring, they yeah. squashed their beef. Like they are like they before that fight, do they hate each other during the fight? They hated each other. <coughs> now it's like, I don't think that they hate each other, but obviously they're not like friend. They're like friends, I guess. Mm-hmm. They're like, I don't know. It's really weird. I don't think they ever hated each other. It's well, like, they squashed the beef like in the ring afterwards. And KSI, KSI said some like nice things about Logan, but then like Logan gets the mic. Okay. And Logan's like saying some nice words, but then he, he has a pretty big ego, and uh, he says some things yeah. to where like, I was like, Logan, can't you just accept the loss, bro? Like things would have been perfect if you just accepted the damn loss, and he did not. So that kind of that kind of bugged me. He seemed like a clown, lowest of keys, but like, it is what it is. Um, I'm still gonna continue to watch Logan. Like I still watch. I watch KSI too. So. I've watched KSI since he was making FIFA videos. Yeah, dude. I've been watching yeah. him probably for like eight years. Not eight years. I would probably about say the past five or six years ago when he just made FIFA videos. I've always, I've watched all the Simon. Not Simon. Not, yeah. I've watched not watch all their videos, but I know the members you, yeah. of Sidemen and I've know their channels. I know who they are, so yeah. they've been they've been there longer than Logan Paul and that gang yeah they for sure yeah they for sure have like i watched both like i just picked logan to win 
just because I watch him more. And, like, I just, you know, he's had a pretty – he's honestly – him and Jake, you know, his brother. Was um, I saw, I think, was a picture. Was he crying? In yeah, a there was a video. I haven't watched it. But um, there's a video. Jake, like, posted a video of him crying after the fight. My God. But, well, I don't know. Why I don't would wanna... you be crying? Say, like, dude, chill out. You, you, your brother just made about millions of dollars from doing the event. Yeah. Why are oh, you tripping dude, out so hard? Dude, I read this. They made $900,000. Each of them made $900,000. And then DAZN, was, DAZN's the streaming app that they... Yeah, 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 that new app. DAZN yeah. gave them, like, part of the ticketing sales and, like, their new, their new subscriptions that they got DAZN. Yeah. So, and I looked into this... They made more than actual fighters that fight for the zone. Oh yeah, of course. I and bet. like any other fight, because like, it's only a, a one-time event. So they put, and it was promoted so much. So they bro, some, probably made like a couple. Say like they probably made one point five million yeah. each. Like I wouldn't be sure. I wouldn't be crying if you were here, dude, but it's like ultimately, it's, it's like so what if you lost? Uh, it doesn't matter. So it what? does not matter. You, his his career is not just gonna you go. Got, you got paid one one point five million dollars to lose. Yeah, I'll gladly lose. Just go get knocked out. <laughs> yeah, real I'll quick. go get knocked out Give for me my one purse. Point. Yeah, I will take some cuts to the face for one point five million dollars, oh, bro. Actually, absolutely. You can, you can actually just beat the shit out of my face for one point five million dollars. I can. If someone came up I can get a like, new face for one point five million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, one point five million dollars is a lot of money. Exactly. I, I can buy a new face with that. Yeah, and so and more and more and more. God, so I'll gladly lose. Yeah, she's. My parents would be like, "Good job, great job on losing. <laughs> we we raised you well. We yeah. raised you well. Good job on losing. Good job. <laughs> One point five million. Oh gosh, that's so much money. But uh, there was a ton of A list celebrities at that fight. I mean, doesn't really, doesn't really. A lot of YouTube. It's not a big. Celebrities yeah, as no, well. there's a lot of YouTube celebrities. There was no like actual pro fighters in the stands, but uh, there was a lot of YouTube celebrities. Obviously, it's a YouTube fight. Yeah, but like, bro, there's so many. Uh, the whole FaZe Clan was there. Keemstar was there. A couple porn stars. Oh, yeah. Because they went that. with Adam22. That. Yeah. I saw that, too. I saw that. Um, yeah. Dude, Logan's best friend, Mike. Mike cracks me up, bro. Mike is so funny. He's like, he's he's 34, but he he's one of those guys that's older, but he's he Mike. has a younger, um, like a younger personality. So he hangs out with all these people. It's it, he's he's funny. He was there, obviously. He's his best friend. Um, Bradley Martin was there. Bradley Martin got in a fight with Vitali. Oh, okay, yeah, I, was about to say, I was about to say who who was. I know Vitali, the Vitali. I didn't know who the guy who was exactly fight. It wasn't really a fight. No. Well, okay. So the video it was more an altercation. The video shows uh, Bradley like saying like fight me to like Vitali or whatever, and then Vitali like got in his face and then choked him out yeah wait yeah i saw that. i saw yeah, that yeah you saw that and then bradley just goes one two and what then, was um, the point in that was there is there beef between them beforehand or no. just dude it, there's big ass dudes there's there are two yeah. beefy dudes is it just it just because was it just because they were there vitaly wanted to start shit i mean i don't know some i saw this thing saying like vitaly was on crazy drugs like he yeah was, we saw him at rolling loud on oh yeah wait yeah <laughs> We saw him, saw at, him at Rolling Loud. This yeah. dude was like, walked right past me. I was like, "Hey, guy, Vitaly!" And he was, was like, cr- "This guy was cracked out." Yeah, dude, this dude was on. He so still said, many "Hey" drugs. to you. He said, "Yeah, he he like, like, hey. like a very, very <laughs> mellow." I don't like, even think he was looking at me. Yeah, like a very mellow, like nonchalant, like "Hey," but he was freaking. He was he, on. He was on one. Yeah, he, he was, was on one. He was on one. <laughs> he was on. I gotta, on I gotta one. find that video. That video was funny. Um. But, like, Vitaly after went to Twitter and was, like, saying, like, oh, the internet could easily be fooled. Like, saying that it was staged. I don't think it was staged. Bro, Bradley's looked like, face in look, that, was, he was, like, serious, bro. Yeah. Bradley's a big dude. He looked like he kind of took a good punch, too. He took oh, a good yeah. Punch. It wasn't really look, it didn't he look like a it, good punch, too. Yeah, it didn't Jeez. look like it connected. It kind of looks like it hit his, like, chin or, like, his neck. But it looked like it was a real punch, to me, at least. Yeah, it, it was like for punch. sure. It was for sure a real punch. Um, But... Tend the talk on the fight. I just want to know how Logan's team is going to like respond. Like, how is he going to go about making videos and stuff like that? Accordingly, according to him and his team, it's like nothing's going to change. It's just a fight. Yeah, nothing. It doesn't. It's not. You don't have to change your whole career after the fight. No, I know. He said he also said something about like how he likes to try a bunch of new things, which he does. Like he's he's always trying um, new. 
Like he always gets out of his comfort zone and like tries new things, but he was like, "Yeah, boxing's not for me." <laughs> boxing, <laughs> much. yeah, no, yeah, it doesn't He's matter. Like, how you could check that off my list. He you said. can be boxing. I feel like is a naturally gifted talent. Yeah, yeah, it, it's like, hard. it's hard to be very good at boxing unless like, you've been doing it for so long. But w- when was the last fight? The first fight or was it just last year? It was last year in the United Kingdom. Yeah, no, the, yeah, two years just training for two years. That doesn't mean you're gonna be it. You're not gonna be good at boxing in two years. Even like extensive you could have, training, you can do the most training. I you won't be good. Exactly. Like, do watching. Like, I didn't watch the fight. You can take the like, worst pro clips. boxer. You can take the worst pro boxer. And He'll I beat the shit. They'll, they'll beat. They'll beat the shit out of both of them. Yeah. Um. I watched like clips of the fight. Dude, that is so sloppy. It, uh, I, I didn't watch so it sloppy clips either, but I, I don't want to watch it. It just it feels like some disrespect to boxing to a certain degree. Just celebrities. YouTube personalities fighting, not fighting, boxing. I feel like kind of disrespects the. Yeah. Kind of, but you you look at it the other way where it kind of embraces it. But I can I can see both ways. If someone made the argument where it said that they disrespect the boxing community. I can see that. Mm-hmm. I can see that, but it's whatever. I really don't care about that fight that much. Yeah, I know. It's just like these guys, like when they talk. Like during this whole time, like they're talking about like how they're professional fighters now because they're not wearing head guards, they're going to ten ounce gloves, and like they they did like this test thing. It's like super simple, I guess, to become a professional boxer, and you just go take this test. Oh yeah, wait, but it's the, like the first fight they did have headgear, huh? Yeah, they had headgear. And then now and this one gloves. they did it. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. No, I remember the pictures now. I'm just trying to remember now. But um, it to me like they talk like they're like yeah i'm a professional fighter i'm gonna keep boxing like this is gonna be what i'm gonna do i would say it's good and it's like it's it's like really you're not a professional fighter one okay two you're not just gonna go show up to the ring and just fight some dude that's been boxing his whole life yeah look and you're gonna beat him cm punk in the ufc cm punk sucked in the ufc got his ass whooped every single fight he was in Brock Lesnar is a different situation, though. Like, you're talking WWE fighters going to the UFC. Brock Lesnar is different because that guy's on freaking... Ro- he's on <laughs> That dude's so massive. That guy's on stuff that I do not know about. That's different. <laughs> That's just pure strength. Yeah. Like, he'll just take your ass to the ground and punch you in the face. That's different. CM Punk is not like Brock Lesnar. Like, as much as I... D- like, I don't like to speak negatively, but it's like... Guys, you guys are known as YouTubers. Like, you guys are YouTubers. Like, you're going to go out in this life known as YouTubers. Like, Jake and Logan, like, all these YouTubers are starting to make music and stuff like that. Thinking, like, yeah, they're going to be on the radio and stuff. Dude, no, you're not going to be on the radio. It's you're not U- just going to, like... YouTube music. You're just... You're literally... You're only a YouTuber. Like, yeah, you could have, like, these little branches and stuff, like, make music, but it's, like, you're not in the music industry. You can make a diss track here and there. That's yeah. That's fine. That's <laughs> fine. Like, that's okay, because that's just for, not comedic purposes, but it's just for entertainment diss yeah. tracks. This is for entertainment. You're not actually trying to make, g- g- well, I'll take that back. You are trying to make a good diss track, but it's all for fun still. Yeah. It's not like you're trying to go on the radio or hit well, the dude, billboard these top dudes, 50s. These dudes are like, they have studios in their houses making music, and like they're thinking like they're going to be the next big thing. And that they're going to be on the radio and they're going to be like on Apple Music and Spotify and all these things. But really, they're just, they're, you're really not. I'm sorry. I agree with that. I agree. Just like stick, it's like just stick to YouTube and do YouTube. Create good content. That's all you have to do. do You guys are already doing that. Focus on your content. You know, I, I guess their, their, hmm, their argument towards that's like, and not, not even an argument. I could see, I could see YouTube getting a little boring after a while. Like you make all these videos and stuff like that. And then it this is all you're doing. Do yeah. Like it's repetitive. That's the right word. Right. And you're already making a ton of money from it. You might as well try something different. Yeah. You might as well try something different. Something but if new. it don't work, just go back. Exactly. <laughs> if it ain't Figure broke, don't fix thing. it. If yeah. it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's a good life point right there. Life skill right there. Name or wow. Sorry. Quote. That's a good life quote right there. Made by the Justin Boo at IG. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. A little. Did you see the new uh, Sonic the Hedgehog trailer? I did see the new Sonic the Hedgehog trailer. And it looks way better. It looks. He looks so much better. He looks like. He looks like the video game character. He yeah. looks very good. 
they made the eyes bigger. I'll give, I'll clap, I'll clap to the redesign team or the F, the whatever team, the visual arts CGI. Department. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever, whatever, fixed, whoever that, fixed it, good, good job. job. Good job to listening to the that people. first one was absolutely terrible. Yeah, that first one was. It was bad. The, it was terrifying to really really to watch it. It was terrifying. Yeah. Like the dude had human eyes, human teeth. Yeah, that's like, not it, the point of Sonic though. They try to human. No. They try to make him look like they try to put him in like a human world and like make give him human characteristics. Yeah. When, that's not the point. He he's a video game character. Exactly, he's a video game character. Don't take it too seriously. Just. Make a good, literally the only thing they could do, just make a good Sonic. That's all they just had to do. Just make a good looking Sonic, that's it, and I bet you people would watch it. That's well, the first thing they did wrong when they made a bad Sonic. Overall, <laughs> it's way better, but check this out. Think about it like this. <sighs> what if, if they did not make that first trailer with that ugly looking Sonic, I bet the ticket sales would not be as, as good as they're going to be now. Because well, you know yeah, how much yeah. publicity, you know how much attention that first trailer got? Well, yeah, that Sonic was very bad. It was terrible. Yeah. So and what if, it, like, you know how much money now they're going to bring? Because everyone had the attention on Sonic saying, like, it was just terrible. And then Sony came out or whoever. Sony or Paramount Pictures? I'm not, I'm not I don't sure. know. Whatever, whoever. I want to say They came out and said, like. Might that be Columbia, but I'm not quite sure. I don't know. Whatever. They said that they're going to come out with the new design Sonic. Now that has people not like holding their breath waiting for it, but they're you know what it like when people it, when it comes back excited, out anticipating the movie. Yeah, when it when they read when they release the new design, people are gonna be like, okay, I want to see it because the first one was so bad. Yeah. So now people are actually gonna go watch the movie now. Mm-hmm. I feel like they're gonna watch it before, but I feel like more this got them more ticket sales. It's gonna make the movie seem better. So like, there's more going for them. It's gonna make it seem like it's better. It's like, oh, the story sucked, but at least Sonic looked good. Can't yeah. can't say it. the story sucked. The Sonic looked bad. Yeah, th- I'm I'm gonna watch it. There's you one positive, it? one positive is better than two negatives. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you can't have a negative and a positive. Yeah. Are you gonna watch it when it comes out? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I, why I, not? I, I everyone knew. Not I'm not gonna say everyone knew Sonic when they were younger, but I knew Sonic when I was younger. I had a few video games. That I game play, was so fun. I played a few. All those games were fun. Yeah, I played a few games with Sonic, so why not? The movie comes out February 14th. Oh, yeah, Valentine's Day, huh? Yeah. It's kind of a weird date. but Yeah, it doesn't make sense, but, you know, excited. I don't know. Did the date get pushed back? Yeah, because of the, the redesign. Yeah, the redesign okay. pushed the date back. Okay, okay. I was just wondering that. But Yeah, those were fun games. Yeah, I like, and he make, he's a lot of, he comes in. In Super Smash Bros. too, he's in Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. is fun, fun. That's Dude, it though. Video games are great. I don't play them too much anymore, but every now and then it's good. It's fun to hop on the sticks again. You know, yeah, every it's once fun in a while. Every now and then. Call of Duty Modern Warfare just came out. Yes, you have it. it? Did. I do not have it. Yet. I don't either. Max has it. That's what he's playing back there, and you just like, dude. I just don't got any time to play it though. Exactly, just no time for us. There's no no time. I'm not saying I'm like a busy person, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to go play video games. Yeah, Max, when <laughs> um he when a new video game comes out, he might get mad at me for saying this because he's literally behind this wall. When a new video game comes out, he or at least a new Call of Duty, all he does no life, no life. He'll go to school, come back. He'll go work out, whatever workout, baseball, whatever. I'm gonna intermingle those. And come and sit in front of this monitor for hours straight and will not leave. Will not leave. I remember you used to do that. I remember when I did He that. screams at the TV all day long. Like, it, it's crazy. Um, I don't have the game. I mean, I want to get the game eventually. Just like, you know, it just came out. So there's a bunch of just I'll wait, try I'll wait hards. until GameStop gets it like $10 off. When is it, instead of sixty dollars, maybe when it's fifty dollars, I might think about getting it. Or when PS4 for Christmas, you know, it's gonna be like thirty dollars. Yeah, thirty dollars like special. Give it like a twenty percent off or a thirty percent off for Christmas. Yeah, I might buy it. Well, we'll think about it. There. But I know it is a good game though. A lot of people have said good stuff about the game. So yeah, and I've well, always liked Call of Duty too. I played oh, Call of Duty. I played Call, Call of Duty. I didn't play Modern Warfare two. I think the game after Modern Warfare two, I started playing Call of Duty. But I still played Modern Warfare two. What's your favorite uh, Call of Duty? Favorite Call of Duty, um, probably favorite Call of Duty is probably just the whole all the Black Ops games. Bro, the Black Ops, Black Ops is one, two, Black and Ops, three. Black Ops two, Black Ops two was fun. I like. Did Black you Ops like 3. four? Did you like four? I didn't really play Black Ops four too. Yeah, much. we played. 
Remember, like, a whole lot, a year ago. Black Ops 4? I didn't play enough if I don't have any memories about okay, it. Okay, Black Ops 2, <laughs> though. Black Ops 2 is my favorite, bro. Black Ops 4. Which one is Black Ops 4? I, dude, I haven't played it in so long. Like, I cannot. Black Ops 4, I believe, is... Black Ops 3 is the one with wall running, right? Well, I believe all Black Ops 3 and 4 have wall running. Look. That just, that just came out recently. No. Yes, it did. It came out probably like a year and a half ago. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We played like a year ago during this during this time because I remember I was in school. We would be freaking balling on Fortnite. We would just absolutely just run, be either running sticks on Fortnite, Apex. Actually, no. Fortnite was two years ago. Apex is probably not a year. Would you say Apex is a year? Yeah, oh. Apex is a year because I remember doing it during like Christmas break. I'm down to play some good Apex again. Dude, Apex, was, Apex fun. was fun, bro. We gotta hop <laughs> hey, on those yeah. sticks again. Get so, get Ryan yeah. get Ryan Spain, you know, or or Jack. Especially since they have calling you boys out. Not Biggs though. Biggs, if you're watching Biggs this, trash. You're trash, bro. <laughs> trash. No, you're not trash. I'm trash. But you just you know. Ryan, get your connection up, boy. Hey. Ryan's always connect- <laughs> Ryan's connection's always messing up. Dude, mine was, but like I I fixed it. I got I got new stuff in my house. I got my own Wi-Fi. So boys, hit us up. Um. But no, Biggs, you were just a flake. Sometimes we would tell you to play, and you'd be like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna be on," and you just never came on. Anyways, sorry, boys. Sorry, sorry. Can um, we talk about something. Yeah, no, dude. Apex was fun. Apex Fortnite, was fun. Fortnite was pretty fun when we were getting Fortnite into it. Fortnite was fun in the beginning. Now it's too hard to play. Well, it's here's too, the reason why it's too, too hard. hard. Okay, everybody's too good now. Everyone's too good. You can't hop good. in a lobby. You like us? We cannot hop in and win a game right now. No, everyone's too good. People are just too good. See what happens is. You, when you take time off from it, people are just playing yeah. nonstop. Like, like I still better. I would still play the way I used to play, but people are that much better now. It's just people. The so building is unreal now. People, it's stupid. There's no point of even hopping on. There's no point. Yeah, Fortnite. You're not gonna win. Fortnite's probably like the only, not the only game. It's one of the few games where I know the skill gap is freaking. It's massive. massive. It is. It's like if you suck, you suck. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not absolutely. Yeah. If you suck, you suck. You're not gonna win. But, yeah, and if you're good, you're really good. You'll win, or you'll place, like, top 10. Apex is cool because there's no building. Apex is cool, yeah. Yeah, I like Apex. That's why I kind of like Apex more. Yeah, the Apex. building on Fortnite, when, when you just went up head-to-head against someone, and they're just doing these, what are they What are they called, 90s? Ramp? Turbo building? I don't know, whatever. Turbo building. When they were just turbo building, just building, like, a freaking whole sculpture right in front of you, and you're just, they're just all of a sudden 100 yards above you, and they're just like, bow, and you're done, and then you just die. Yeah. Just not fun anymore. It's too hard. That's why I stopped playing it too. Can't play it anymore. Yeah, that, but I just knew. I, I knew for after <laughs> a few games, well, on my tail end of my Fortnite career, I said, "Yeah, this game's not for me." Well, we st- we hopped back in for a while. Yeah, we freaking we sucked. Elijah. We yeah. freaking sucked. We played with uh, my friend Elijah Munoz. If you're watching this, shout out to you. Um, yeah, we were terrible. We hopped back on. Absolutely terrible. I wouldn't consider us We won bad. a few games. The thing is, I wouldn't consider us bad players, but it's that just everyone else is good. Yeah. Better than us. These guys that are on there. I'm not saying I'm trash. I know I'm not trash, but. Yeah, these guys that are on there, just freaking nerds. But hey, nerds rule the world, so shout out to you if you're a nerd. Shout out to you Twitch streamers, or any streamers in general, actually. Yeah. I wish I'd become a streamer. Being a streamer seems fun. Who was it that got banned um, from Twitch? I don't know. Someone part of FaZe Clan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, FaZe member banned. Well, he's FaZe, um, FaZe Jarvis. Yeah, that's oh. right. He's he's like 18, I think. What well, he's 19. He deserved to get banned. No, 17, I think. He deserved to get banned. Going off what I've read and seen so far, he recorded himself using aimbot. What? Well, can't do that yeah i know but here's this is where i, stand I don't care if you're 17 or 18 it's like you're a streamer you can't he's 18 you, you can't be recording yourself oh, he just turned 18 you can't like be recording yourself freaking rec- with aimbot but he did it as he didn't do it okay i believe i'm not i'm not i'm not like obviously. i believe he did it in a qualifying match no or, no 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 he was just, just doing it for fun for a youtube video are you sure i promise you he was doing okay. it for a youtube video I, that was a qualifying match for like not the World Cup, but something. No, like no. That. That's why, like, the whole, like, FaZe Banks is kind of upset. Like, there's a bunch of people upset. Um, Ninja even said, like, that was a little harsh of a punishment because it's not, it was just, it's for a YouTube video. 
in a non uh, qualifying match or anything for like, well, that's to make no, money. no, because say if he wasn't a streamer, you would still get banned. Say if I were to use aimbot, but I would get banned. It was it's a life ban. Other people usually get suspensions. There's people that do it and get suspensions. Mm. Okay, maybe. Bro, I'm not questioning. What sure. about um, a life ban? A life ban. He can never play the game again. Get a different IP address. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, okay. I'm confused <laughs> about this. Why can't he just make a new name? And a whole new account? I believe you can, but just I believe He that probably can't just that, make that, YouTube yeah, videos anymore. That account, the account he probably is using with all his stuff is probably... It can't be accessed anymore. So you got to move places and get a new IP address. Because I believe that's how they ban you. They tr they they uh, get your IP address from the Wi-Fi you're using. And that's how they ban, ban you. That's an IP ban. Something like that. Something along those lines. You know, Wait, what about Tifu? Tifu was caught t cheating quite a few times and he just got suspended. Cheating? Not with Aimbot, but he was like um, finding his, like glitches and stuff oh like yeah. that. His, going cheating, his cheating is different, though. His just, cheating's cool. Yeah, his cheating is uh, manipulating the game mechanics. Yeah, yeah. He's finding the the. He's holes. finding exploits. Yeah, that's what it's called. That was the word I was looking for. He's finding exploits. That's like that's not his fault. It's no, it's the not. game. It's the game's fault. <laughs> that's crazy how he finds them. Yeah, so it's like they gotta fix it. If it's in the game, just take advantage of it. We would all do the same thing. We would all do the same thing. That's not cheating though. Dude, my fingers from this uh, from the pumpkin video that I did. I don't know if you guys have not watched the pumpkin video. Go watch it. It's pretty funny. Um, dude, fingers are tore up. From what exactly? The rubber bands, bro. So when I was putting the rubber bands on the pumpkin, no, you were probably they just, were just rubbing against it, yeah. and like it just kept rubbing, and like my fingers are pretty messed up. It doesn't hurt; they just sting. There's a difference. Um, like my knuckles on this side too are messed up. Just my fingers were bleeding. It was crazy. Jeez. But you know, it's um. I can see. It. I can see that. It took a while. It took it took a big, big chunk of time. Uh, the video, I obviously had like a time lapse. So I just sp sped up all the clips. How many rubber bands? It. Did you count many rubber bands? I got bands? to 139. See, and I it think took the, 50 the, minutes. Okay, yeah. I about to say, the thing is, I don't think you should have used a pumpkin. You should have used a watermelon. Well, I wanted to use a pumpkin because it's festive as shit right now. I guess. Okay, yeah. it's freaking November. But I don't think it was going to explode because pumpkins. No, no, pumpkins do explode. I've yeah. seen videos, but they, it, they're smaller. When I went to go get this, I actually got this pumpkin on Halloween. And w my whole thought process behind it, I was like, okay, I'm going to get a pumpkin. I'm going to do it because it's Halloween, you know, Halloween. I'm a Halloween baby, so, like, I got I to gotta do something with pumpkin. So when I went to go get it, I originally picked up the small one. It's probably the size of my computer. And I'm like, this is going to work. Like, this is perfect. And then I'm walking out, and I'm like, no, this, is my, this just might be too small. So I go back, and I grab this big-ass pumpkin. And it was too big. Yeah. And like I feel like a pumpkin's harder on the outside too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like a watermelon there's Well, the thing is Well, a pumpkin's no, the the ho gonna, it's hollow. Well, not it's, it's pretty dude, it's hollow. It just has not, guts. Yeah. I would say it's not necessarily hollow, but yeah, I, I see what you mean. Yeah, well, you watermelon just it's just water inside. Yeah. Just water. But, um as when I first got the pumpkin, I put on a rubber band to, or I put a rubber band onto it and I'm like this pumpkin's too big. This pumpkin's too big. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to let it sit. The rubber band I'm going to let it sit for a week and hopefully it gets a little softer. Let it get old. <laughs> let it, I'm just going to show you guys the good side. The back side is just all just torn up. Yeah, just gross. Green molding. Starts yeah. To smell. No. So it did not get any softer. It's like leaking it, too. After, it's like leaking. My, it, the bottom gets so soft. I pick it up off my carpet because yeah. I did leave it in my room. I don't know why I left it in my room. I pick it up. The bottom's just everywhere. It's all, yeah. Oh, that'd be gross. <laughs> no, so I'm putting the rubber bands on, and I'm like, in my mind, if you go watch the video, the faces where I'm like, I'm like looking at it, like you could tell, like I was pretty determined to put these rubber bands on, and then right before the the um, rubber bands shot off, I had a few faces where like I zoomed in on my face, and I was just like looking, because I was really mad, and let me tell you why I was mad. I was mad because my fingers were in pain. At the time, they did not just sting. They were in pain. Like, my fingers were hurting really bad. Fingers were bleeding. And I'm over here, and I'm just like, this freaking pumpkin, bro. This I just wasted an hour of my life, and these rubber bands are just going to plop right off. And it, and it did. <laughs> and it did. 
And I'm watching it and I'm like looking at it and I see the rubber bands literally sliding up and I'm like, oh shoot. I'm like, look, and I show the camera and I'm like, look, rubber bands are coming off. And the thing, I hear it and it's just, and I just went like this and the thing just like, boom. It was crazy. It was really funny. I'm gonna pull up the video for you just to, cause I know you've seen it, but let's take a look. <laughs> it looks, Bro, it looks so weird, dude. It was, it was, it was actually. So where did the rubber bands go? They just went to the back. They like, went to the tree. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had to go get like the pull net and pull them down off the tree. But yeah, so that was. So wait, what did you do with the pumpkin? Did you sell the pumpkin? Oh, I took a throwing axe and I threw it at the axe. Oh, okay. Max. It's okay. at the end of the video. If you guys want to go watch it, oh, like I, I was saying already. Just either like just smash the pumpkin, or someone like throw the pumpkin. And you just hit it with a baseball bat. Yeah. Or Ooh, you can I stab could the pumpkin. Yeah, that'd be cool. Well, we drew a penis head on it. Yeah, like it. Like in, in the like festive, not festive season, but Halloween season. You know, Michael Myers, just get a knife and just brick it. Just go, <laughs> ham. just go ham. Just go ham on just it. Go ham. Just yeah, freaking all, I mean, all the anger that's been built up, just take it in on a fucking pumpkin. Yeah. Just freaking. <laughs> all the <laughs> anger. <laughs> Jason um, Voorhees, freaking everything. Just Michael. Fuck, fuck that pumpkin. <laughs> I saw Max eating a bag of hot Cheetos today, and I was just like, in my mind, I'm like, that's crazy that you've never had a ba- a, a single hot Cheeto. And by I say you, I mean me. I'm talking to is the third person. The, no, second person. Well, I'm calling myself you. Anyways. That's second. I've person. never had. That, that's second person. I've never had a hot Cheeto in my life. I thought we had this conversation on we the We have, but it, we didn't talk about it. No, it was uh, in the car one time because he didn't believe me. It was on our way to Zed or something like that. No, no. Dimitri on, Vegas yeah. with, was on with a, uh, yeah. Maddie. Shout out to you, Maddie. Yeah, because she, um, she was eating she was eating hot Cheetos. It was a lemon, the lemon one. Dude, I've never had a hot Cheeto in my life. And you know what? I will never. Just kidding. I'm not going to say never. Um, you don't like hot Cheetos? I do not like hot Cheetos. Never had one. Hot Cheetos are all good. They just, to me, it's just not my type of thing. I can't eat the regular Cheetos. I don't no, like, I, don't I don't like the regular Cheetos. I don't, I don't like, like any regular, Cheetos. I can only eat hot Cheetos. I do not like the regular hot Cheetos. You know what chips are fire? Spicy nacho. The Doritos. Spicy nachos Doritos fire. Are good. Yeah. Doritos nacho are cheese is good. good. Spicy nacho is good. I don't really like Cool Ranch. Cool I'm not ranch. a big... I was a big fan of Cool Ranch. I was on Cool I'm Ranch, big, but no. I'm not a big Cool Ranch guy. I don't Bro, like cool ranch. barbecue chips, though? Oh, nut. Yeah. I love some barbecue chips. You can never any go brand. Wrong. You can never mess up barbecue yeah. chips. Lay's, I can, I don't think there's yeah. Lay's barbecue is always the go to. Well, always now they the have best. like the Lay's like the the smoke the cooked barbecue chips are like they're like crispier, and they're like thicker. Oh my god! Yeah, they have some bro. other flavors that are really good. I even like the classic. Classic's really good too. Oh yeah, that's a good every Cla- once yeah. in a while. Classic is still good. Barbecue is good. They have another flavor. I forgot. I tasted it, but it was you really like good. like sour cream one? I never like sour cream and onion. I, That's I don't, like, I don't like sour cream and onion on anything. Like my Pringles, no. Nope. I don't like Pringles. I don't like, no. I don't like sour cream and onion. I don't like them I either. just feel like they don't go on a chip. Do you like uh, the jalapeno chips? The Miss Vicky's jalapeno chips? Uh, a Bro, few. Those are fire. I've had a few. I mean, they're, I would rather, mu- I wouldn't eat that. I would rather eat some barbecue chips or like Lay's. Or Doritos. Or Fritos. I like Fritos, too. Fritos are good. Yeah. What else? Chips are good. Chips are, Chips are good. good. <laughs> yeah. Chips, are, Chips good. are good. They Chips go are good. They go good sandwiches. Oh, yeah. I love a good deli D. We're just talking about food now. <laughs> yeah. De- favorite favorite sandwich spot in town? I mean, I don't really eat at sandwich places too much. I mean, what type of sandwich are you talking about? Honestly, anything, bro. Like a sandwich, on like a deli sandwich, like a Subway sandwich? Any type of sandwich. Chicken sandwich, deli sandwich. Any sandwich? Bro, Firebird at Doghouse, my freaking favorite. I don't know. That's a hard one. I'm just a big... I mean, I don't think I've ever tasted a bad chicken sandwich. Wherever any place has a chicken sandwich... It's always fire. It's good. Yeah. yeah, you can't mess that up. Oh, yeah, guess what? And then uh, since I went to that, that event last weekend, or this... Yeah, last weekend... Uh, while we were driving up to Oakland, I, we went to Popeyes. I tried the chicken. How was it? I mean, you it can't was, mess it up. Yeah. So it's the same. I mean, yeah, it was, okay. was it good. It was good. We got yeah. the spicy, the spicy chicken sandwich. Oh, dude, Popeyes smacks. I mean, nothing great about it. Like all those videos where they kind of hype it up. It's not that crazy. <laughs> yeah. It tastes like a chicken sandwich. Popeyes does smack though. In my my opinion, the chicken tenders. Like when we go to like when we went to Coachella, 
Yes. Remember when we went to Coachella and we stopped off to that gas station that had like a bunch of restaurants right there? Tejon oh, yeah. Ranch, Tejon, uh, however you say it. Um, yeah, we always get, we always stop at like Popeyes or Burger yes. King right there, Taco Bell. How, wait, wait, and then for the chicken sandwich, it, 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 it literally, like they already have good chicken. It just looks, it just tastes like they put their, like their spicy chicken stuff between a bun. Yeah, that's, that's what it that's tastes all like. That's all it is. Yeah, it's and, a they, and, they put, and, and they bun. put like mayonnaise or like that sauce I hate on it. It's not mayonnaise. I don't know what it is, but like, but like Chipotle sauce or something. It's some, a sriracha ranch. Yeah, type some of thing. some type of ordeal like that. That's what they put on. I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm not saying it's like great. Like yeah. Chick Fil A, I'm gonna say Chick Fil A is better. I don't know. They're probably the same. I they're can't putting tell. a Chick Fil A next to right here on Close and Herndon, huh? Yeah. I can't tell the difference between their chicken sandwiches. Though. Good talk. I'm not quite sure. Are you for sure that's gonna be Chick Fil A? Okay. That's what people were telling it's me, and then I see a gas station now building up. There's already a gas station right next to it. I know, <laughs> dude. I see like the gas station, like the the the, the overhead thing, and it's like the the poles in the middle already. So like, I don't we'll know. See. We'll wait and see. We'll have to. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. I for sure. I wouldn't. You can catch me not going to that Chick Fil A. It's gonna be too busy. Oh, bro! All it these is, high schoolers go in there at is, lunch. It's gonna be too. Say busy, goodbye man. to your guys' lunch. Yeah. No, it's, I would not go to that Chick Fil A. If anything, I will make. If I want a Chick Fil A that badly, I will go to the one near Fashion Fair. I would go to that one. What about River Park? That one's pretty busy though, too. That one's busy too. Yeah, yeah. Fashion Fair is not. Fashion Fair is not biz- that busy. It's only bad like during the weekend. If you're going, midday. if you're going during when people are shopping, then it's busy. But if you were to go like on a Saturday around like 2 p.m., you're fine. You're cool. Yeah, you're fine. And then Sundays are the best. There's literally no one there. <laughs> <laughs> Absol- absolutely no one there no one there that's pretty wouldn't funny, even get your food i thought that was it was that pretty funny i thought that was pretty funny <laughs> um did you hear t- a couple more topics um hey got a new sim card that's why this video is going a little longer what are we at right now uh 47 minutes wow yeah okay. nice nice um did you see that video on twitter of joe rogan uh it's like oh the fresno, fresno on the map and then he was like what's that he, literally what's it called chef it's like chef something's are you what talking about the person that posted it no 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 the place he's talking about oh chef something's something I forgot what it's called if you guys have not seen the video um i put it on my twitter but um <laughs> This person posts Fresno on the map, and it's Joe Rogan, the father of all, the father of podcasts, and he's like, "What's that shitty place in California?" He's like, "Um, oh Fresno." <laughs> yeah. There's a place called Wapato. God damn it! I follow them on in. Um, he never says it. Shitty town oh. In California, Fresno is a place called. <laughs> So we just got we just got so, put on, we got put on the map by we just Joe got Rogan. put on the map by Joe Shit. Rogan. I feel like the putting on the map part was the place he mentioned. No, he just put Fres- Fresno on the map. It's a shitty town in, in California, dude. Even even Joe Rogan thinks our we we suck, bro. We suck. We got nothing here. All we got is honestly, all we got is really good food. I but that's I I, I could have swore we also had this conversation on the last podcast. No, we were talking about. Uh, events and just saying, yeah, but I was saying that Fresno was Fresno is probably the worst big city in California. I know, but now it Joe is a, Rogan, it is the shittiest big it. city. Yeah, it's terrible. Like, Fresno is such a big city, and it was so bad. It's terrible, like, it's awful. Literally, any other big city, I would rather live in San Jose, San Jose, SD. I would, oh, I would, okay, I don't know, I'm not quite sure about LA. I, would, I don't think I would want to live in LA. <laughs> oh, to Pang Ridge. The Topang Rich tailgate, the three thousand dollar giveaway. It's finally been given it's away. Finally been given away, it's guys. Finally been given yeah, away. Yeah, so that's over. It um, was split between three people, though. Not one split person between three people. <laughs> and I knew, it. and I was wrong. Last podcast, I said they were going to take the t shirt kind of go boom. Oh yeah, what what was no, the, so? What it was was the uh, game. It was they had like this inflatable uh, in the end zone, and the three were a team, and they had footballs, and they had to make five into the hole. I bet you, I bet you what was that? What was they that? got three. What was, but still got a thousand dollars each. You know. I to, I was, okay. Like no, that, I was baby. about to say we big do, time. Were they? They were always guaranteed to get the money. What are they? What are they, dude? Come I'm on. not allowed to. This is. 
classified information right here right back. Then we're going to get the money. I was like, you know what? I'm going to give them the money. I was like, you know what? You guys want $1,000? Here you go. No, yeah, they were going to get the money. No Regardless, right? <laughs> yeah, they it's were just a way to promote way. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was about to say, they were always guaranteed to get the money. Say if they didn't get that five. They were <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> they were all good. Um, but, dude, we, I, want, I got to go on the field during halftime. Dude, that place is... It's pretty cool under the light. It's like on the turf, on the field. It's super green, obviously, because it's, it's turf. Yeah. But that field looks so vibrant in their colors. Yeah. And like well, people red and white. all around you. It was really cool. Did we um, win? Did we win that game? No, I wouldn't say we. I'm not really we. Did, did Fresno State win that game? Fresno State. That's a good question. Who did they play? Did they play like. I think they lost, bro. I think they I want to say they didn't did they play Hawaii? No, they did lose for sure. Yeah. Oh, wait. No. You played you didn't play Utah. Just look at the schedule, 2019 schedule. Let's see. Yeah, they lost to Utah. Oh, was 37 Utah? to 35. It's tough to watch them this year. What is the record? I think they believe they have four two. and five. Four and five. I think there's only three more weeks left in the college yeah. football season. Too. It's tough to tough to watch them. Um, you know, but we got to support the dogs. I guess. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> he said no. <laughs> Just because uh, I live in Fresno doesn't even have to support the team. I I, I want to support them. Uh, did you see Paul George at the basketball game? That was pretty I cool. That. I got to take, a, or I didn't get to take a picture with Paul George. I got to take a picture of Paul George. <laughs> he was Paul on the George. he was on the he was on the football field during halftime, and he was like probably was ten saying, yards away from me. So I was like, boop. Bro, got to snap like, a few. Like, Paul George, get your ass on the freaking basketball court. We want to say you play. With he's the playing court. this week. Yeah, I know he's playing tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, dude, get your ass to freaking staple centers and go freaking train your ass off. I'm trying go to see ball you. Up. I'm a, trying to see you play with Kawhi Leonard, all right? I'm oh, not trying to see you here in gonna Fresno. It's going to be naughty. It's going to be naughty. I want to see you here in Fresno. No, I would rather go see you play in Staples Center. Get is, out of here. This is Why you at Save Mart <laughs> Center? You're playing Staples Center. Get the hell out of Save Mart Center. Yeah. My God. Yeah. Jeez. He he does not. He needs to be over there now. Go play, play already, dude. God. Dude, he's go gonna play in the up. NBA season, dude. Forget college bass. Forget your college jersey. Go make money in the NBA. <laughs> that's so funny. All right. That's pretty much all I have to talk about. I and mean, do you have anything else you want to say? I felt like that was pretty cool. Oh, we got a new logo. We put the logo at the end of the video. It's really oh. cool. What do you think about the new logo? It looks good. It's it's pretty it, tight. Is, it, is, it looks a lot cleaner than the first one. Yeah. Well, the first one we kind of put together just because. We had um, to put one together. Yeah. We had we filmed the podcast, and I'm like, editing the video, I'm like, oh, shoot. We don't have a logo. And I'm like, we need a logo. So I put that together within like an hour. So then this one I've designed, and uh, this one's a lot better. I like it. It looks good. Yeah, it looks a lot cleaner. All right, guys. Um, that's going to be it for the yellow fellows podcast episode three. We appreciate you guys for watching. Click that like button, subscribe to my channel. If you guys haven't gotten to watch my last video, I'm gonna put it at the end of the video. So go watch that for me. And, uh, that's all I gotta say. Ciao. Deuces. Uh, deuces. All right, guys. RJB out. Ciao. We drink it down so we can live it up. Why? Cause you never know what tomorrow brings in this crazy life.